When every other antibiotic failed in the United States, there was always colistin. Until now, a strain of E. coli bacteria that colistin can't kill has been recovered from a patient in the United States. The medicine cabinet is empty for some patients. It is the end of the road for antibiotics unless we act urgently. Health officials in China published the first paper last year on this superbug, isolated from pigs and humans. It was E. coli with a deadly difference, a packet of 15 genes that made the germ virtually immune to colistin. U.S. doctors found that bacteria, or one like it, in the urine of a 49-year-old American woman. A woman with no travel outside of the U.S., who is the first documented human case in the United States of uh, having a urinary tract infection or any infection with an organism resistant to every antibiotic, including the last one we had, colistin. It was an old antibiotic, but it was the only one left for what I've called nightmare bacteria. The woman with the so-called superbug has recovered, but scientists here in the United States have found the same strain in stored tissue samples of a slaughtered pig. And some 20 scientists around the world have also isolated it in animals, meat, and humans. This is something which is occurring in all countries in the world. Doctors have warned about these superbugs for years. In 2014, the United Nations Health Agency issued a landmark report calling them a global emergency. Researchers wrote, quote, a post-antibiotic era in which common infections and minor injuries can kill is instead a very real possibility for the 21st century. What it means is that all of us, so our family members, all of the persons in this room, our friends, when we are most vulnerable and in need of these medicines, there is a chance that they are simply not going to be available and we are not going to be able to have uh, access to effective medical care in a number of instances. Right now, superbugs that survive colistin can still be killed by another class of antibiotics, but there are germs resistant to those too. Other research suggests if scientists can't find new drugs to eliminate these superbugs, they could kill more people than cancer by 2050. That same study said it would cost the world more money than exists in the current global economy. Researchers fault widespread colistin use in animals, poor hospital hygiene, and doctors prescribing too many antibiotics. Sale of antibiotics without prescription or other professional supervision remains widespread. This means that there is a risk that antibiotics are still being used uh, too frequently uh, and, and too often when they may not be needed. For now, health officials want antibiotics to be used only when necessary and kept out of the food chain as much as possible. We need to do a very comprehensive job protecting antibiotics so that we can have them and our children can have them. We need to make new antibiotics, but unless we have better stewardship and better identification of outbreaks, we will lose these miracle drugs. Scientists have found colistin resistance in at least two other germs besides E. coli, including one bacteria that causes pneumonia. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.